Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Marco Antonio Fireball High School Class of 2020. My name is Jose Montes, and I'm the principal at Fireball High School. We will begin this evening's ceremony with the flag salute. Here to lead us in the flag salute is this year's student body president, Axel Perez. Thank you, Mr. Montes. Audience, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Male graduates, please remove your caps and place them over your heart. Audience and female graduates, please place your right hand over your heart. Let's face the flag. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Thank you, Mrs. Brock, Axel, and the class of 2020. Good evening once again. As the principal at Fireball High School and on behalf of the Linwood Unified School District Board of Education, the great students and faculty of Fireball High School, and I welcome you to tonight's graduation ceremony. Before we continue our program, let me take a moment to introduce our guests. From the Linwood Unified School District Board of Education, President Gary Hardy, Jr. Vice President Maria Lopez, Clerk Briseida Gonzalez, Member Alfonso Morales, Member Alma Delia Renteria, and Superintendent Dr. Gudiel Crossway. From the Linwood Unified School District, Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services, Dr. Shauna Dinkins, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources, Dr. Brian Lucas, Chief Business Official, Greg Fromm, and Director of Secondary Education, George Guerrero. Now please welcome back Axel Perez to give his ASB President's speech. Good evening, Falcons. My name is Axel Perez, your ASB President. Today's the day that we've all been waiting for. Our whole lives, we've worked hard and dreamed about sitting on that field wearing our cap and gowns, surrounded by friends and family. Instead, we find ourselves at home wearing masks, gloves, and distance from our friends and loved ones. Making our graduation virtual was a decision that was not taken lightly. I applaud the Lingwood Unified School District for putting the safety and health of our Falcons and family first. If there is one thing Class of 2020 is going to be known for, it's for being the most resilient class ever. Class of 2020 has inspired, motivated, and left a legacy at Fireball. As we part ways and begin our separate journeys, I want you to know that you are capable of accomplishing anything as long as you have the courage to lead. I'd like to take a moment to reflect on my four years at the Nest. If you were to tell me four years ago that I would be in this position in life, I wouldn't believe you. I've dedicated the past four years of my life giving back. Through leadership, I've been able to give back to our campus with ASB, our community with Lingwood Court, and the state of California with the California Association of Student Leaders. Throughout high school, I've learned heartbreak, vulnerability, and courage but nothing can compare to the strength that came from senior year. Being a very involved individual, there have definitely been times when I've told myself, what am I doing? I've ruined my life. But as I look back, I don't regret any bit of it. I would be lying to you all if I said my journey to success wasn't hard. 
all the late nights and early mornings at school, sleepless nights, assignments submitted late because of ASB, the stress, the tears, anxiety, and the uncertainty of finding myself as a teenager, I can finally be able to say I did it. But I definitely couldn't have done it without any of the constant support from the individuals that saw potential in me and believed in my purpose. To Ms. Edward to help me stay on track for graduation, thank you. Thank you to Ms. Comenteros and Ms. Ramos who made sure I clicked the submit button every time I said I wasn't going to college and was just in the College and Career Center to see who I'd marry at the high school reunion. Thank you. To Ms. Magali, David, and Monse, who worked every day as mentors to help me lead a class of leaders and a school of Falcons, thank you. To Ms. Reynoso, who always made sure to ask me how I was doing and check in on me mentally, thank you. To the ASB class that showed unity, strength, and purpose, thank you. You were my motivation to continue fighting for our campus no matter the battle. To Mr. Ramirez, who fought for student voice beside me and came into my life and helped me at my lowest point. The hyper guy who would soon become my advisor and taught me to believe in we'll be fine, we got this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. To my family, mom, dad, Jesus, and Jasmine, thank you for loving me unconditionally and supporting all my crazy ideas no matter how big they were. I wouldn't be the person I am without you today. Class of 2020, I will forever hold you in my heart. And for the final time in my high school career, there's only one way to end this. And that's all for today. Go Falcons! Now, please welcome Jasmine Reyes, Senior Class President, for her speech. Hello, everyone. My name is Jasmine Reyes, Fireball Senior Class President. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate all of my fellow graduates. Despite the major obstacles we were faced with, our determination was never faced. So congratulations, we made it. To say that I'm proud of all is an understatement. None of us could expect that our year together to be cut so short. I remember first hearing the news on March 13th, thinking we'd be back in just two weeks. But two weeks turned into the postponement of our activities, and before we knew it, the rest of our school year was gone. And though I have no control over the circumstances, I would still like to say that I am sorry that we did not get the full year that we deserved. I am sorry that you did not get to attend Oscar night or senior brunch, watch the fireworks show at grad night, or dance the night away with your friends at prom. And to all the parents watching this, I am sorry that you would not get the full experience of seeing your child walk across that stage as you scream the name at the top of your lungs, because I know that's exactly what my family would do. To my parents, thank you for always believing in me and allowing me to become the person that I am today. You guys have done nothing but support me and have worked so hard to give me the life that I now have. And I owe you nothing but all my gratitude, and I hope that one day I can repay you for all the headaches that I may have given you. Graduates, I want you to close your eyes and think about who you did this all for. All of the countless hours of studying and hard work, who was it for? For me, it was all for my younger sister, Abigail. Abby, I know right now you probably don't understand much of what is going on and are happy that you get to stay home and make TikToks all day. But know that everything I have done and will continue to do is because I want you to have someone to look up to. And even though we fight a lot and sometimes I'm too busy with school, know that I love you and I'll always be there for you. Over the years, I have found so many people that I get to call my best friends. Nereen, Elaine, Val, Jessica, Axel, Mel, Sydney, Ellen, Lorenzo, Marcos, Dames, Brandon, Abe, Lalo, and Joshua. Huge shout out to y'all for always being there for me and for making these past four years amazing. Also, our group chats are never allowed to die. I also want to individually thank my three biggest support groups. First is Avid. I think it is safe to say that we truly have one of the coolest teachers we genuinely see as a father figure, Mr. Perez. Thank you for everything you have done for us and for leaving such a genuine positive impact on our lives. Next to my ASB family, who are some of the most kindest and most creative people that I have ever met in my whole life. Because of you all, I have grown into a strong leader and I will now be taking that leadership all the way to UCLA. But I will miss dancing with Kayla and Nat, getting paint all over my clothes with Jocelyn and hiding from David. And last but not least, to the stronger group of girls that I have ever encountered, the Fireball softball team. Girls, I want you to know that Coach Chuck will always be looking over us because he loved us more than anything in the world. And Coach Chuck, because I know you're listening, the Hammer Girls did it. And I hope you know that we love and miss you a lot. But don't worry, because we'll always keep you with us everywhere that we go in our heart. So you rest easy up there, okay? Also, Thank you to each and every staff member that has made our lives at Fireball so much easier, such as our amazing counselor, Ms. Edwards, the College of Career Center who tracked us down every single day for months, and to Educare for feeding us every day after school, 
Coach D, and teachers like Ms. Reynoso, Ms. Lay, Ms. B, and Mr. Lima, who we will never forget. Class of 20, I know right now it's hard to celebrate, but understand that tough times don't last, and tough people do. And you are all the toughest of people. So go ahead, celebrate, and embrace this moment with your loved ones, because you truly deserve to. Continue to be the toughest people that the world has yet to see. And just like we have left our legacy at Fireball, let us leave it on the world. Good evening once again. I would like to once again congratulate the class of 2020. The civil rights leader Cesar Chavez once stated that real education should consist of drawing the goodness and the best out of our own students. What better books can there be than the book of humanity? This school year and the events that have unfolded have taught us more about our humanity than we could have imagined. The class of 2020 has had to endure the unimaginable in every way. From dealing with a pandemic that required us to stay home and sacrificing time with friends and family and having to miss out on other milestones. However, the class of 2020 has taught us all about the power of humanity and the power we have to uplift each other in time of unprecedented need. When I first walked into the gates at Fireball High School as principal, the first thing that struck me was the amazing warmth of the students as they welcomed me into the, the school which they cared for with great pride. Members of the senior class came to my office to introduce themselves and to talk to me about it, what it meant to be a Falcon. They let me know how this school was different from any other high school and that I was at the right place. As a person who grew up only a few blocks from the school, it filled me with great pride that students in our community had such love for their school. More importantly, I felt the love and the camaraderie that makes the senior class so special. I felt their humanity. I will always remember Falcon Fest during the first semester of this year. There I saw for the first time how students enjoyed each other's company to the fullest, and I also met some of the members of the senior class who would emerge as members of the school community who truly impacted their fellow schoolmates in a positive way. At that moment, I realized that the senior class was indelibly unique and special. Their humanity was evident and palpable. In this time of virtual class meetings and social distancing, the class of 2020 continues to teach us that there is hope on the horizon. As you finish this school year in a way that no one expected, keep in mind that all of this will pass and that the future is bright in a way that allows you to build a new path and a fresh outlook. You have the opportunity to develop solutions to many long-standing problems in our society. You have a chance to improve our world for generations to come. You have the power to use the strength of your humanity to be true influencers for good. Graduates, always remember the memories and friendships you have made at Fireball High School. Hold these bonds close to your heart as you embark into a new stage of your life. Remember the words of wisdom your teachers instilled in you and use them to guide you through your new journeys. Now, more than ever, seek mentors who will help you accomplish your goals and reach your dreams. Above all, always keep sight of what unites us to each other, your resilience and your humanity. The honor of class salutatorian is awarded to the students with the second highest grade point average in the gra graduating class. It is my great honor to introduce to you this year's three salutatorians, Sylvia Naranjo, Angelica Ramirez, and Leslie Villa. Sylvia, Angelica, and Leslie have earned this honor by earning a 4.5 GPA during their four years at Fireball High School. This fall, Sylvia will be attending UCLA, Angelica will be attending Stanford, and Leslie will be attending USC. Please help me in welcoming to the podium our 2020 class salutatorian, Sylvia Naranjo. Good afternoon, parents, students, and staff. My name is Sylvia Naranjo, and I am proud to be one of the class of 2020 salutatorians. I wanna thank the class of 2020 for being a part of this chapter in my life. Although we each have our own unique stories, our paths have all united to be here today. 
We have changed statistics and overcame adversity as we have defied all the odds put against us this far. These past four years have really flown by. Standing here today seems so surreal, but I definitely didn't make it here alone. To all the teachers, counselors, and staff, thank you. Thank you for the greatest gift of all, the gift of an education. Thank you, Kenya Belinda Ramirez and Valeria Slatna Mafla. You two believed in me more than I believed in myself. You both are such amazing people, and I have no doubt you will accomplish the greatest of things. Finally, I want to thank the people whom my speech wouldn't be complete without. Gracias, mami y papi, porque nada de esto sería posible sin ustedes. Gracias, papá, por nunca dejarme y por todo el trabajo que has hecho para sacar a nuestra familia adelante. Gracias, mamá, por siempre confiar en mí y apoyarme en todo. Gracias por el mayor sacrificio de todos. Los dos dejaron a su familia, a su país, todo lo que conocían para darme la vida que ustedes no tuvieron. Espero que sepan que no solo es mi logro, pero el de ustedes también. Desde San Lorenzo, Michoacán, hasta UCLA, lo hicimos. Thank you to my older sister, Blanca Estela Naranjo, who has set such a great example for the kind of person I strive to become. Not only are you my sister, but you are also my best friend, Chuy, for being one of, the biggest, one of my biggest supporters and encouraging me to follow my dreams. Last but not least, Moises, because although we might fight way more than we talk, you managed to make me laugh and keep me sane by distracting me from the endless pile of assignments I had. It's been four years since we walked through the gates of Marco Antonio Fireball. It is now, now time to close this chapter of our lives, spread our wings and fly. But never forget, once a falcon, always a falcon. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you. Now please welcome Angelica Ramirez. Good evening, everyone. I hope you are all staying healthy and safe during these uncertain times. My name is Angelica Ramirez, and I am one of Class of 2020 salutatorians. When I heard there was a three-way tie for salutatorian this year, I cannot lie and say I was shocked. Class of 2020 has truly seen it all. It is hard to leave behind so many wonderful people and memories, especially if you feel like you did not get a proper goodbye. I am proud to say that I feel like I have made the most of high school, and I hope you all feel the same, whether it be attending school dances or participating in clubs or spirit week. We all remember being told on March 13th that we would return to school in two weeks, not knowing that sadly, that was going to be our last day of high school. Let this be a learning lesson to always live your life to the fullest. You never know what the future holds, so you should treasure every moment you have with your friends and loved ones and make sure that you make the most of every day. Whether you are going to college, trade school, into the workforce, military, or any other path your heart desires, Remember to always advocate for yourself and fight for what is important to you. Every single one of us has had our fair share of challenges, and whether or not you thought you would ever make it to this day, you are here, you did it. Many of us did not get here on our own. I particularly have so many people to thank and not enough time. I am particularly grateful for my mom for her unconditional support and advocacy. We are a great team. We did it, mom. I also want to thank Mr. David Ramirez from the district, who is also my mentor, for going above and beyond for me like he does for every other student. Your time and dedication does not go unnoticed. As we begin our journeys, here are some important things to remember. You are your biggest competition. Do not compare yourself to people who live different lives and have different stories. Always be proud of yourself. We all have something important to contribute to the world in our own way. Thank you, and I wish you all the best. Now please welcome Leslie Villa to give her salutatorian speech. Good evening class of 2020, staff, school board members, friends, and family. Welcome to our virtual Fireball High School graduation. First, I would like to say congratulations class, we did that. Four years ago, we started our high school journey without knowing everything we would experience. Every single person from our friends, teachers, counselors, and staff at Fireball have impacted our lives in some way or another. I just want to recognize a few people who have made my high school experience memorable. Ms. Edwards, who always saw something in me and pushed me to do my best. Mr. Hamamoto, for constantly supporting us during our ongoing talks about life. To my best friends, 
for all the memorable moments, but especially in our same lunch spot these past four years, and most importantly, my family, who have given me nothing but their love, support, and encouragement my whole life. As seniors, we have dealt with obstacles, but we have and will continue to overcome them together. Starting our freshman year with our current president, who has brought fear to our community, to our senior year in this time of COVID-19. Fear continues to make its way into our lives and the lives of our loved ones. Yet here we continue to overcome barriers and pro prove to the world that we are capable and strong together. These difficult moments will prove our resilience as we work towards our success. Although we may not be physically together during this year's graduation ceremony, no one can take away this special moment from us. Our hard work and dedication will not go unnoticed. Today we celebrate our accomplishments as we start a new chapter of our lives. No matter where we are heading after high school, I am confident that each and every one of you will be successful and make a positive impact on our society. I couldn't be prouder of everyone's hard work. Graduating from high school is a huge milestone. Congratulations and thank you all for making 2020 as memorable as possible. And please welcome back Principal Montes. Thank you, Sylvia, Angelica, and Leslie. The honor of class valedictorian is awarded to the student with the highest grade point average in the graduating class. It is my great honor to introduce to you this year's valedictorian, Arlie Paredes Mendieta. Arlie has earned this honor by earning a 4.6 GPA during her four years at Fireball High School. This fall, Arlie will be attending UCLA. Please help me in welcoming to the podium our 2020 class valedictorian, Arlie. Hello class of 2020, parents, teachers, staff, and peers. My name is Arli Paredes Mendieta and I am honored to be this year's valedictorian. I want to start off by thanking the people who helped me get where I am, including my teachers, friends, family, and staff. To my parents, gracias a Maya Bach, it was your sacrifice of moving to the United States 25 years ago that made it possible for me to follow my American dream and continue my studies. A day does not go by where I am not thankful to God for giving me my parents, parents who cared about my education more than their entire lives in Mexico, and your words that encouraged me and guided me to finish endless papers and calculus homework at 5 a.m. in the morning. To my brothers, thank you, Alex, for being a loving, caring older brother and an amazing role model for me. And to my little brother, Jesus, who stayed up each night with me so I would not be in this alone. I cannot forget to thank Mr. Ramirez and Ms. Reynoso who encouraged me to apply to countless scholarships and wrote last minute letters of recommendation to ensure I had a chance. To Mr. Ham, Ms. Ramos, Mr. Lima, and the people I am yet to list, thank you. If school taught me one thing, it is that we look for replaceable friends. And I found that in class of 2020. No matter how far or close we are from one another, I will never forget we were on this journey together, a journey that for some of us started since we were in freshman year, while others joined in this year. Nevertheless, this pandemic was something unexpected, but it has brought us closer to one another. We were able to provide the unconditional support to one another in a time of crisis and love. When I started at Marco Antonio Fireball, I was greeted with unconditional support that encouraged me to pursue a career in medicine. Our school is one of the few schools that offers both AP and IB programs. We were provided with many opportunities of learning that other students might have not had, and for that we are lucky. Along with each program that our school offers, we were lucky to have staff that it was dedicated to providing students with resources to pass exams and earn college credit. And although we might be in the middle of a pandemic, our school has not let us alone in this battle. They continue to give us the education we deserve and food for low-income students in our community. The efforts of those at Fireball and my parents led to my promise of playing it forward. For my community, not only will I attend UCLA and major in biology, I will help the next generation conduct research on preventable diseases to help prevent another pandemic that keeps people from creating memories with their friends and family. Gracias a mis padres por darle los necesario para poder alcanzar mis metas. Sin su apoyo no hubiera sido posible. Congratulations to us, class of 2020. We did it. And now please welcome back Principal Montes. Thank you, Arlie. Before we present the diplomas to tonight's graduates, 
I would like to take a moment to tell you a little about this year's graduates and their accomplishments. You can find the names of these graduates in the graduation program denoted by special symbols. The International Baccalaureate Program is an internationally recognized course of study designed to prepare students for higher education. The IB curriculum is an integrated, comprehensive, and balanced mix of sciences and humanities. And students are evaluated according to the highest international standards of assessment over two years. At Fireball High School, students may earn an IB diploma or choose to earn certificates in IB courses of their choosing. This year, we have 10 IB diploma candidates. At this time, I would like to recognize the efforts of our IB course candidates. To earn the IB diploma, students must pass examinations in six subject areas. Write an extended essay of 4,000 words describing an independent research project. Complete 150 hours of creative action and service activities and take part in a critical thinking seminar called Theory of Knowledge. These 10 students have completed the most rigorous course of study at Fireball High School and if successful, will start college off as sophomores. Congratulations. Next, I would like to acknowledge our seniors that are members of the National Honor Society. These 33 seniors have been awarded the Distinguished Stole, which they earned by exemplifying the four pillars of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Congratulations, National Honor Society members. This year, 44 students have earned the Golden State Seal of Merit on their diploma. They have earned this distinction by demonstrating mastery of the high school curriculum in at least six subject areas, including English language arts, mathematics, science, and US history. These students will receive a special seal on their diploma. Congratulations, Golden State Seal Merit Diploma recipients. Now, it is my pleasure to present to you this year's top 10 ranked graduating seniors. At number 10, attending Cal State Long Beach with a 4.21 GPA, Emily Quintero. At number nine, attending UCLA with a 4.22 GPA, Elaine Lopez. At number eight, attending Cal State Long Beach with a 4.25 GPA, Melissa Arzate. Also tied for number eight, attending Cal State Long Beach with a 4.25 GPA, Eduardo Del Rio. At number seven, attending UC Irvine with a 4.27 GPA, Norma Duran. At number six, attending UCLA with a 4.29 GPA, Brenda Moreno Leon. Also at number six, attending UCLA with a 4.29 GPA, Elizabeth Navarro. At number five, attending UC San Diego with a 4.33 GPA, Melanie Lopez. At number four, attending UC Davis with a 4.45 GPA, Jennifer Lopez Estrada. At number three, attending UCLA with a 4.48 GPA, Symphony Esqueda. Also at number three, attending USC with a 4.48 GPA, Evelyn Marquez. Also at number three, attending USC with a 4.48 GPA, Kyra Obeyed. At number two, attending UCLA with a 4.5 GPA, Sylvia Naranjo. Also at number two, attending Stanford with a 4.5 GPA, Angelica Ramirez. Also at number two, attending USC with a 4.5 GPA, Leslie Villa. And number one, attending UCLA with a 4.6 GPA, Arlie Paredes Mendieta. Congratulations, class of 2020 top 10 seniors. Each year, we ask our seniors to give us a glimpse on their plans. This year's senior survey tells us that 104 of our graduates plan to attend a two-year college and plan to transfer to a four-year university. The two-year colleges they plan to attend include Cerritos College, College of Southern Nevada, Cypress College, 
East Los Angeles College, El Camino College, Fullerton City College, LA Trade Tech, Los Angeles City College, Long Beach City College, Moreno Valley College, Rio Hondo College, Riverside Community College, Santa Monica City College, and West LA College. We also have four seniors enlisting in the armed forces, including Air Force, Army, Marine Corps, and Navy. 68 seniors will be attending nine California State Universities this fall. Our 2020 graduates will be attending Cal State Bakersfield, Cal State Dominguez Hills, Cal State Fullerton, Cal State Long Beach, Cal State LA, Fresno State, San Jose State, Cal State St. Stanislao, Cal State San Marcos, Cal State Northridge, and Cal State San Luis Obispo. 23 seniors will be attending seven UC campuses this fall. Our 2020 graduates will be enrolling at the following UC campuses. UC Davis, UC Irvine, UCLA, UC Merced, UC Riverside, UC San Diego, and UC Santa Barbara. 11 seniors will be attending private and public universities across the country. This fall, graduates from the 2020 class will be attending USC, Stanford, and Mount St. Mary's University. Congratulations to all our graduating seniors of the class of 2020. As principal of Fireball High School, and on behalf of the administration and faculty, I hereby certify that today's students have met all of the graduation requirements established by the Board of Education and are eligible for graduation from the Linwood Unified School District. I present to you all the students who have met the graduation requirements for the class of 2020. On behalf of the Board of Education, I am pleased to accept the class of 2020 and award to its members the diploma verifying completion of all the graduation requirements of the Linwood Unified School District. The entire Board of Education congratulates you for achieving this milestone. The Board also wishes success and happiness to all of this year's graduates and their families. Congratulations, felicidades. Arlie Paredes Mendieta. Silvia Naranjo Amado. Angelica Ramirez. Leslie Villa. Carlos Aguilar. Esther Aguilar. Aleda Alvarez. Sitlalik Areza. Asusena Arana. Jasmine Ariano. Nathan Ariano Cabrera. Luisa Arias. Melissa Arzate Zavala. Jose Avalos. Nayeli Avendano Rodriguez. Valeria Avila. Abel Aviles. Beverly Ayala. Brandon Aspetia. Bilaya Bahar. Kenneth Byres. Luis Barajas. Stephen Barajas Martinez. Jesus Barba. Alejandra Barbosa. Mario Barrera. 
Alessandro Bautista. Johanna Becerra. Nicholas Bejarano. Osvaldo Berroman Escobedo. Suhedi Bravo. Iris Bustamante. Adriana Cabrales. Esmeralda Calderon Cuevas. Chai Canis. Brian Carlos Lopez. Jackie Carranza. Jocelyn Carvajal. Brittany Casillas. Daniel Casillas. Evelyn Castaneda. Gladys Castaneda. Samantha Castaneda. Sebastian Castaneda. Denise Castellanos. Samuel Ceballos. Yaneli Salis. Devora Chamale. Eduardo Chaparro. Everton Chavez. Raul Chavez. Oliver Chicas. Michelle Cisneros. Liana Correa. Aureli Corona. Christina Cortez. Natalie Cortez. Beatrice Cortez Barrera. Kimberly Cruz. David Cruz Rodriguez. Daniela Cruz Gomez. Maria Cuevas Rosas. Jalen Davis. Wendy De Santiago. Natalie Del Cid. Eduardo Del Rio. Machiavelli Demas. Adriana Diaz. Jessica Dimas. Chloe Duarte. German Duenas. Alex Duque Castillo. Norma Duran. Eduardo Enciso. Miguel Escamilla. Abigail Espinosa. 
David Espinosa, Ivan Espinosa, Symphony Esqueda, Joandra Favela. Noreen Flores, Rodolfo Flores, Zian Ford, Jasmine Franco, Carlos Fuentes. Edwin Fuentes, Jenny Galeno, Jacqueline Galindo, Abril Gallardo, Aaron Garcia. Damian Garcia, Jacqueline Garcia, Jessica Garcia, Juan Garcia, Lucero Garcia. Stephanie Garcia, Daisy Garcia Davila, Jesus Garcia Yoriarte, Faisal Gastelum Lechuga, Lizbeth Godoy. Amaris Gomez, Eduardo Gomez, Rafael Gomez, Julissa Gomez Acosta, Fernanda Gomez Flores. Abraham Gonzalez, Alexa Gonzalez, Carlos Gonzalez, Jose Gonzalez, Karen Gonzalez. Maleni Gonzalez, Marco Gonzalez, Jennifer Granados, Andrea Guillen Cardenas, Melody Gutierrez. Zaira Gutierrez, Desiree Guzman, Alexander Hastings, Shulamite Hurst, Shirley Henry. Alberto Hernandez, Alan Hernandez, Antonio Hernandez, Javier Hernandez, Juan Hernandez. Laisha Hernandez, 
Lucero Hernandez. Marcia Hernandez. Maricela Hernandez. Valeria Hernandez. Arlene Hernandez Cruz. Leslie Hernandez Cruz. Stephanie Hernandez Guillen. Brian Hernandez Perez. Evelyn Hernandez Avila. Rosa Hernandez Camacho. Deira Hickson. Santiago Hidalgo. Evelyn Inojosa. Angel Ibarra. Michelle Islas. Yameli Islas. Abraham Jaime. Jasmine Yasso. Bernardo Hauregui. Elijah Jerry. John Jimenez. Jose Jimenez. Marisol Jimenez. Martha Jimenez. Zakora Jones. Gilberto Juarez. Jonathan Juarez. Luis Juarez Estrada. Sergio Laguna. Michael Lagunas. Fatima Larios. Melissa Lamus. Emily Lomelli. Dulce Lopez. Elaine Lopez. Julian Lopez. Leonardo Lopez. Martin Lopez. Melanie Lopez. Monica Lopez. Tommy Lopez. Jennifer Lopez Estrada. Daniel Lopez Lazo. Andrick Lozano. Gia Luna. Carla Luna. Omar Luna. Leslie Macias. Annette Macias Calvillo. Valeria Mafla. 
Jose Magana. Juliana Maldonado. Eileen Maravilla. Dave Marin Linares. Oscar Marin Linares. Evelyn Marquez. Anthony Martinez. Jennifer Martinez. Kelly Martinez. Annette Medina. Caesar Medina. Jose Medina. Xavier Medina. Joshua Mejia. Christian Melendez. Ashley Mellon. Jorge Mendez. Luis Mendez. Ryan Mendez. Jennifer Mercado. Jose Mercado Felix. Jasmine Messinas. Luis Mesa. Alejandra Michelle. Daniel Mihangos. Christian Miranda. Eric Miranda. Stacy Molina. Kenneth Monores Contreras. Diego Monraga. Sidlali Montes. Isabel Montoya Carrias. Kenny Mora. Jose Morales. Arturo Moreno. Brenda Moreno Leon. Brianna Munoz. Joylene Murillo. Rosalinda Murillo. Vanessa Murillo. Tanya Muro. Salani Napoles. Zaira Navarrete. Elizabeth Navarro. Julian Navarro. Destiny Neal. Ernesto Negrete. Nathan Ng. Kyra Obeid. Allison Ochoa. 
Jonathan Ochoa. Lizbeth Ornelas. Kimberly Orozco Sanchez. Raul Ortega. Ivan Ortiz. Jesus Ortiz. Cassandra Ortiz. Catherine Ortiz. Luis Ortiz. Estrella Osorio. Paula Otanez. Mariela Padilla. Daniel Para. Irandi Peña. Heaven Peña. Jocelyn Peña. Pablo Peña. Axel Perez. Brianna Perez. Cesar Perez. Damian Perez. Giselle Perez. Guadalupe Perez. Martin Perez. Melvin Perez. Oscar Perez. Beverly Perez Vasquez. Angel Pineda. Karen Polanco. Celine Preciado. Cameron Pryor. Venus Quinones. Emily Quintero. Michelle Quiroz. Lainey Radio. Ashley Ramirez. Jonas Ramirez. Rogelio Ramirez. Kenya Ramirez Rodriguez. Carolina Ramirez Villegas. Magali Raya. Jasmine Reyes. Brenda Reynaga. Kenneth Rivera. Cheyenne Roberts. Isabella Rocha. Brandon Rodriguez. Brian Rodriguez. Richard Rodriguez. Octavio Rojo. 
Joshua Rosales. Daniela Rosas. Marco Rosas. Giselle Ruelas. Guadalupe Ruiz. Sebastian Sanchez. Denis Sandoval. Jonathan Santana. Edwin Santana Ramirez. Andrew Saravia. Christina Salcedo. Angel Serna. Andrea Sevilla. Brianna Sierra. Aldo Siguenza. Jasmine Siqueiros. Jamarius Smith. Tyron Smith Watkins. Sabrina Soledad. Sydney Solorio. Abel Solorzano. Lorenzo Soria Vasquez. Juan Soto. Natalie Soto. Jesse Taboada. Cesar Toledano. Joshua Torres. Mariel Torres. Josue Humana Lopez. Leslie Uribe. Ulysses Valdez. Natalia Valdivinos. Marco Valencia. Jesus Valenzuela. Ashley Varela. Jacqueline Varela. Brian Vargas. Sandy Vargas. Anthony Vasquez. Janet Vega Sanchez. Giselle Velasco. Paula Velasquez. Christopher Vera. Amy Villacorta. Noemi Villalobos. Angelina Villalpando. Janet Villasenor. Jorman Villavincencio Mavarez. Maya Williams. Kalima Willis. 
Daniel Zamora Stephanie Zamudio Brenda Zavala Jessica Zavala Eileen Zavala Ramos Adilene Zasueta Barajas Julie Zenteno Cesar Zuniga Yvonne Zuniga Congratulations to all our seniors. Before we complete our ceremony this evening, we have one more important item to complete. The traditional tassel ceremony. Here to lead us in the tassel ceremony is the senior class president, Jasmine Reyes. Hello, my name is Jasmine Reyes and I'm the Fireball High School senior class president. Members of class of 2020, at this time, I ask that you move your tassel from your right side all the way to the left side of your motorboard. This action now signifies that you are now a graduate of Fireball High School. Congratulations, Fireball High School alumni. We made it. Thank you, seniors. Congratulations to all of you and your families, parents, guests, and faculty members. I am pleased to present to you the Fireball High School Class of 2020.